guys, my name is Megan, welcome to my channel. Today I want to talk about using essential oils during pregnancy and labor. I am in my second pregnancy and I've used essential oils during both of my pregnancies, specifically this one. I've gotten a lot more into it and they have helped with so many of the different issues that come up during pregnancy and I absolutely love using essential oils and herbs for natural healing whenever I can instead of using just the regular medicines that aren't really all that great for you. So hopefully this video is helpful for you guys and gives you some ideas of essential oils you can use for different things in pregnancy. And let's get right into this. So most essential oils are safe for use during pregnancy as long as you're using high quality, pure essential oils. So you wanna make sure that you're buying essential oils from a company that is reputable and has pure essential oils. Essential oils aren't regulated by the FDA, so you have to do your own research when it comes to choosing the company that you're going to buy from. I personally use doTERRA, and I feel totally comfortable and totally trust that brand. And all these oils I'm gonna talk about today are ones that I feel totally comfortable using on myself during pregnancy, but of course you have to do your own research and decide what you are comfortable for yourself and your family. So the first thing I wanted to mention is that you want to make sure that you avoid essential oils that can stimulate contractions until you're in labor. So for most of your pregnancy, you're going to want to avoid essentials like clary sage, jasmine, myrrh. So let's talk about the different essential oils that are my favorite during the first trimester. And now during the first trimester, I like to err on the side of caution and only use essential oils topically and aromatically. I don't like to take them internally during the first trimester, that's just a personal opinion and I know a lot of people do and are fine, but me personally, I wait until the second trimester to do any internal essential oils. So one of the hardest things about the first trimester is the morning sickness and I get morning sickness so bad and it's not just in the morning either, it's all day sickness. Whoever named it morning sickness had no idea what they were dealing with because I am nauseated like all day and all night a lot of times when I'm in my first trimester. So some of the essential oils that can help with morning sickness are peppermint, ginger, fennel, lemon, orange, and chamomile. And these are all just really soothing on the stomach. They're great for digestion or any like queasy or nauseated feelings that you might be having. These are all gonna help so much with that. So you can diffuse a combination of these essential oils in your essential oil diffuser, or you can even just breathe it straight out of the bottle. When you breathe in essential oils, it goes straight up your nasal cavity and into your lymphic system. So just by inhaling the essential oil or adding it to your diffuser again, you're getting all the amazing benefits of the oil. And so it's really cool that there's just multiple ways of reaping the benefits of these essential oils. You can use these oils topically on the bottoms of your feet and your stomach for morning sickness. An easy way to do this is to make a roller bottle. And my favorite roller bottle blend for morning sickness is five drops of peppermint, five drops of fennel, and five drops of lemon in a 10 ml roller bottle, and then you just top it off with fractionated coconut oil, and then you just apply it to the bottoms of your feet and your stomach whenever you're feeling nauseated. So I, I tend to just carry around my roller bottles for whatever ailment I'm having a lot of. I just carry around the roller bottle in my pocket, and whenever I'm feeling like I need some, I just roll it right on, and it's nice and handy. Another common symptom with first trimester is extreme fatigue. Like, you just feel like you want to sleep all the time, and it's it's insane. So some essential oils that are good for just feeling tired and kind of make you feel a little bit more energetic and uplifted are peppermint, rosemary, wild orange, lemon, basil, and geranium. And those are some of the best ones for this. So again, you can put any combination of these that sound good to you in your diffuser and diffuse them in the room that you're in. You can also make a roller bottle with six drops of peppermint, six drops of wild orange, and four drops of rosemary. And again, you just put it in a 10 ml roller bottle and top it off with fractionated coconut oil. And then you apply it to pulse points. So now we're getting into more of the second trimester. And one of the things that happens to a lot of people, especially people who are maybe shorter and their rib cage and their torso isn't as long, is your ribs start to ache, especially when you're sitting down. And so some of the essential oils that are really great for this are peppermint, lavender, frankincense, cypress, and grapefruit. And these are all essential oils that are really great for relieving tension. And so even if it's not necessarily your ribs, but you have some other place on your body that just feels like has a lot of tension, especially if it's like pressing on a bone, like how the baby would be pressing on your ribs, these are all gonna help with this so much. So the best way to use essential oils for aches and pains is topically. You can dilute the essential oils in coconut oil and apply to the ribs as needed. 
My favorite way to do it, again, is to put it in a roller ball because it's just really nice and handy. My favorite roller ball recipe for this is five drops of lavender, five drops of peppermint, and five drops of frankincense. And I just carry that roller bottle around like all the time, especially if I know I'm going to be sitting. So I like to bring it to church and apply it before I sat down for church. You can just roll it right on your ribs or wherever it is achy whenever it starts to hurt. So now let's get into the third trimester. My main complaint in the third trimester is aches and pains. Your body is going through such a huge change when you're pregnant and you're just growing and your ligaments are stretching and your bones are not going to be in the right place and so things are just going to get a little sore and so some of the essential oils that are my favorite for that are wintergreen, frankincense, copaiba, ylang ylang and again the best way to use essential oils for pains like this is topically. If you're trying to cover a large surface area with essential oils topically you can use three to five drops of essential oils diluted in about a quarter cup of a carrier oil like coconut oil and then massage it into the area that is bothering you. You can also make a roller bottle with six drops of wintergreen, six drops of peppermint, and three drops of lang lang, and put it in your 10 ml roller bottle and top it off with fractionated coconut oil. And then you can just roll that onto the area of concern as well. Inflammation is often the main cause for body pain, so if you put a drop of frankincense and or copaiba under your tongue, that can help reduce inflammation in the body. And so that can help a lot with just aches and pains in general. Another really kind of annoying symptom about the third trimester is trouble sleeping. And that does have a lot to do with the aches and pains part, but some of the best essential oils for just getting some great sleep are lavender, lang lang, mandarin, and frankincense. And my favorite way to use these is to just put the diffuser somewhere in our bedroom at night and then when I go to bed I put whatever combination of these essential oils that help with sleep in my diffuser and turn it on and it runs almost all night and that really helps a lot. Sometimes in pregnancy you can have a lot of anxious feelings and emotions just especially if it's your first pregnancy or maybe you are having some sort of pregnancy complication that you're concerned about or you're just worried about how the labor is going to go or being a new mom. And so some really great essential oils just to help with anxious feelings are lime, bergamot, lemon, lavender, and frankincense. And these can all just really help to boost your mood, boost your spirits, make you feel a bit more confident. If you're using essential oils for anxious feelings or stress, you can use them all three ways, internally, topically, and aromatically. So just pick out whatever combination of the oils smell best to you and sound best and diffuse them in your diffuser or just sniff them straight from the bottle. And my favorite roller bottle recipe for this is four drops of lime, four drops of lemon, four drops of lavender, and four drops of frankincense. And then just apply as needed. For internal use, you can take your roller bottle and press it against your thumb and then take your thumb and put press it up against the root of your mouth. So now we're getting to labor and delivery and this is just such an exciting time in pregnancy and you are almost to the end and about to meet your sweet precious little baby. And so let's talk about some of the essential oils that can help with labor and birth. So there are a few essential oils that can help jumpstart contractions, and those are clary sage, myrrh, and jasmine, the ones I talked about, about at the beginning, that you want to avoid until you're in labor or at the direction of your midwife. And these can just help start contractions, and they can also make your contractions more efficient and effective, and so it can help speed up your labor if you're already in it. I'm planning on using some of these when I go into labor with this little one. So the best way to use essential oils for contractions is topically. You can apply one to two drops of each essential oil to your wrists and abdomen, as well as on the uterine and cervical reflux points, which are on the insides of your ankles under your ankle bone. So another thing about labor is that it's going to help your contractions be more effective and help your body work properly if you can relax as much as possible and not fight against the contractions. So if you can use some essential oils to just help with calming and relaxing during your labor, that's going to help a lot as well. And so some great ones for this are lavender, frankincense, copaiba, cedarwood, sandalwood, wild orange. The best way to use these are topically and aromatically. You can have your partner massage you with the essential oils while you're laboring. You can have a diffuser going with your favorite blend of these going in your birthing room. You can have whoever's helping you during labor just put the oils under your nose while you're having contractions. And if you're laboring in a birth pool and doing a water birth, you can add a couple drops of lavender to the water in your bath to help you relax even further. 
And so those are all the essential oils that I personally love using during pregnancy. And of course, again, do your research on the kinds of oils that you feel comfortable using and the brand that you feel comfortable using because that is really important. Pregnancy is such an exciting time. I absolutely love being pregnant and it's just really awesome that you can use these natural things like essential oils to just help it be easier and more enjoyable. I really hope this video was helpful for you guys. Thank you for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye!